All right, guys, I am back, and we are going to call this one a stag stagnant fragment, and I'll have to look up to see what episode it is. But anyways, so we are just going to craft our little heart out, hearts out and get these um, scraps. Um, like, like it, it's overwhelming at this point. So, again, I have no idea when you're going to see these. I'll just kind of, I'm hoping that this is a Friday video, but... One may never know, at least with me anyways, right? Oh. Let's see how wide did that end up being? Um... So two and three quarters by five. So let's do four. Four and a half by two. Let's just drop it here. Four and a half. Ooh, that's not very straight. Let's see if we can. Straighten that out just a little bit. Okay. Let's see, four and a half. And then we're going to take it by two and a quarter. Just a little bit bigger. that went up a little bit too. And again, these just turn out however they're going to turn out. I don't like super duper plan them out. Um, this, the whole point of stagnant fragments is to use up your scraps and get them out of here. So they don't eat you alive because those of you that have been crafting a while as well know that scraps will eat you alive if you don't keep them down, I guess, is the word I'm looking for. We're going to do these simply, possibly. That's probably too dark. Again, we may not end up using any of them. But... Hopefully, we will find one that does. And so that one does. And I think I'm going to go back to traditional ink for a little bit. If you've been kind of following along, we've been using the green and the barn door, or no, aged, aged mahogany. Yeah. And Bo just got home. Hi, Bo. Hey. I'm going to use my vintage photo. Yeah, I am almost done with, uh, you know how long it's been since I used vintage photo? So long that it looks orange instead of brown. <laughs> Um, anyways, um, um, blah, 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 blah. Oh, I was telling you, I've almost done with Dawn's journal. I've got the signature and some pockets left. Some of that paper dries and turns out, we shall have a journal. I'm really digging these whole templates things right now. Okay. 
kind of used the heck out of them the last few weeks. Isn't it funny as a crafter, like you go kind of in and out of style, or I won't say in and out of style, but kind of a little bit. Okay, and we will call that good. And it should, all the glue should kind of disappear in there. All right, so there's one. I've got a ton of these kind of stuffs going on and some white. Um, I generally save branding strips, but at this point I have far too much. And I've got these, so let's Said this is a turn and burn type of thing. <laughs> Do you want to kind of get about the same close on these? Have these. All of these. I'm wondering if they're, oh, they're close. Booklets are always great to make these kind of things with. I'm going to go ahead and use it anyways and just take off the ends. And the key is not to overthink everything you're doing, which I know for most of us is almost impossible. Let's see, what do we got here? Do we make one? How many of these pieces do we have? These for sure. I do like making the um, the uh, booklets with these. Like I said, I've got I've got a ton of these going on, and honestly, booklets are literally one of the best things you can do with all of your scraps because they fill in a pocket so beautifully. looks like we could probably do quite a few booklets if we have enough paper. I usually do two of the strips. It gives you four and that way you don't make your po pocket bulky but yet then it's still cute, right? As long as they're close, right? You should be all right. 
close in length and width. I wouldn't, I wouldn't let exactly the same um, hold you up because honestly, it's not, they're called junk journals for a reason, right? The other reason I like basically too overfolded is because it doesn't get too thick when you're stapling either. Looks like that's my last one of that size because that one's a little bit bigger. So one of them gets three. Okay, I think that one would be a whole lot of wasted space on that one. So let's see what we got here. This one technically isn't a scrap, but I mean it is, but those are probably two inches wide. So let's do two and a half. Oh, this was a blue sheet. We're not gonna let that deter us though. This little edge off here and then have done with that scrap. attacher back. That is not what we want to do. does. Cut off that back. Wow, buddy. She's awake. Oops, sorry kids. That was probably really loud. That's two of those. been a little bit since I made notepads. I don't really re remember seeing any of my stash, so. Okay. Let's see. Oh, we're still working on these. Okay, so we need two more. Two and a half. Uh, yeah, I'll just keep going this way. It's kind of odd for me to use white, but we don't want pieces hanging up anymore. Wow. <laughs> Poor kid. Oh, 
Well, so far this has been a little productive. You know what, I might end up getting those other videos filmed. I know you probably don't even know what I'm talking about. So basically, most of today I filmed um, some of the ephemera that I'm putting in. Um, let's see, I have one more of that size. Um, so anyways, uh, I have about... four of those videos filmed and so I've been trying to decide which ones to like work on. Let's see if we can find another scrap that's long and kind of slender. Like I said, I got all kinds going on here. Like I said, I've been trying to scrap my way out, or uh, work my way out of a mess. And it sometimes goes well, right? Here's one. How long does this need to be? Five and a half. So six and a half. So let's do... is it? It's too... Oh, that was quite a, quite a dandy, huh? Okay. I know I have some other little scraps here, which I thought were a little bit longer. I could go in this. So I do. I think this is too. Yep. Um, I have no idea where my other. Where my other stapler is. So we'll staple that. Well, you know what? We actually we could do the goo goofball thing here. I've seen this done before. So it's not quite so crazy on the inside, which means we wasted a little bit. And by we, I mean me, but that's okay. And, oh, yep, that's some of the overspray ones. Let's see what else we got over here hiding. We are going to make tags out of these. Man, that was a while ago. I don't remember what journal we use these on. Anybody else? I oh. don't I rightly remember. I think we're going to be productive today, kids.
these are all really taller pieces, taller and skinnier than I was thinking. It still works. I think I might have used those on the green journal back in March. Oops. Okay, so then it can be journaled on here and on the back. Okay, there's another one. All right, let's see. Let's do... Oh my goodness, kids, are we gonna end up whipping out like a bunch in one setting? That's gonna be weird. Okay, let's see. Nope, okay, but I do have an idea. And yes, it hurt. Um, what if we just did something simple, like a little butterfly? Maybe not that one. Um, what about one of these? Yes, simple. heart or I have an open heart but I don't actually want any other colorant on it and I put it way off there I like that holy cow not that we're anywhere near having any of this like like clean, clean. <laughs> right, for now, I'm going to put these up here. Let's see. Oh. This must have been the green journal. Liking that idea, but maybe a little bit fuller one. Nope. I'm kind of at my limit with those, um, as far as unless I'm going to put something else with it. That just blends right in. Okay. Let's see. I'm thinking that if we were to take half of this. Is dryer is done, so I probably better get my keister 
off camera. Go get her laundry switched over. She's doing me a couple other favors, so gotta help the girl out, right? Teamwork makes the dream work. But it's also going so well getting some of this cleaned out. I'm like, mmm. See if we've got a slender little greeny thing that would work. That'll work. I'm not being over fussed. All right, guys, I think this is about a half, 20 to 30 minutes, maybe a little bit more. I'm not sure. And at any rate, um, I am going to call it a video. And we got so much done. Okay, so maybe that one doesn't look as good as I was hoping because you can kind of see the glue behind it, but that's okay. Um, so one, two, three four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 pieces of ephemera and about 15 minutes or no, about 30 minutes. So, all right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this stagment fragment and we will just see you in the next video. Bye guys.